Hello once again everyone, it's Michael from Fujifilm. In this episode, I'd like to talk about a couple of new lens offerings that were recently announced. Let's start with this one. The XF1650 F2.8 to 4.8 RLMWR. And why do we have it? Well, it's going to replace our old venerable 18 to 55 2.84 as the go-to kit lens moving forward from summer of 2024. It is about the same size as the 18 to 55, but the 1650 is a tiny bit lighter. Now you would say, okay, it's two millimeters wider and that's not a big deal, but it is actually 11% wider and that's actually noticeable. It keeps the switch on the side for uh, manual aperture or auto aperture. But something that's very nice is unlike the 1855, which would extend when you zoomed, the XF1650 has internal zoom and has internal focus. The lens will be available by itself for a price of $699, but when included in kit form with many cameras, the effective price of the lens will only be about $400. The second lens was the GF 500mm f5.6 RLM OISWR. So yes, it's weather resistant as you would expect a lens of this caliber. And it is at 500 millimeters, twice the focal length of the 250 millimeter f4, which gives you half the angle of view, which is something that we really needed in the GF uh, optical lineup. So it gets you much, much closer than that 250 used to, but at 5.6, it's a nice, lightweight, easy to travel lens. The price of this lens will be $3,499. Now, it couples very, very well with the GF 1.4X teleconverter. So as you can see in these images here, without the teleconverter, you get a simple double the uh, focal length, a narrowing of the angle of view. And with that teleconverter, it still keeps the sharpness and it gives you even that extended reach. Keep in mind that the 250 millimeter with that 1.4 teleconverter only becomes a 350 millimeter F5.6. So it's not nearly the reach of the new GF 500 5.6. Uh, this is definitely going to be a favorite travel lens for me, and I hope it will be for you as well. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.